The sixth pearl or example that the author mentions is that this religion has brought commanding the good and forbidding the evil and also fighting for the sake of Allah. Now all of these have tremendous benefits and it is important to know that fighting for the sake of Allah, the objective behind it is to defend the religion from those who are trying to attack it. And if one was to look at the life or the biography of our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or his companions with their enemies, one would be amazed at how they dealt with each other and how fight, fighting was only uh, used in extreme circumstances when it became a necessity so that they may defend themselves and defend this religion. And when it comes to commanding the good and forbidding the evil, then the benefits of this are apparent. That this religion and also the good and the harms for uh, the good and the benefits for society cannot be established without it. So we would only command the good when there is a benefit to the society. And we would only forbid the evil if there is harm to the society. And if this was to be held up correctly, then you would see that the whole society will be upright. As for those who claim that we are free to do whatever we will, then this is from the greatest types of oppression and harms, not only upon themselves or their families, but also upon society. Especially those rights which are obligatory to uphold, that have been established both by the legislation and also by the intellect and also by the customs of the people.